So this question starts off by giving us a function, h of x is equal to negative 16x squared plus 100x plus 10. It goes on to tell us that the quadratic function above models the height above the ground, h, in feet of the projectile, x seconds after it had been launched vertically. So we know that x is time, and we know that h is height in feet. Um, we are then told if y equals h of x is graphed in the xy plane, which of the following represents the real-life meaning of the positive x-intercept of the graph? All right, so if I were to graph this, which I'm not going to actually do, um, so first of all, you could, you could find the real graph, right? You can throw this into a calculator. That's going to be the easiest way. Just literally type that in with a y when your graph will have y there. So you just type the rest of this into your graphing calculator. Um, so I know by looking at this that it's going to be a parabola because it's a quadratic. We have the x squared. And it's going to be a downward facing parabola because we have a negative sign in front. So I'm going to just pretend like it looks like that. Okay, I'm probably not completely accurate. But, you know, it does seem like there's going to be one negative x-intercept and one positive x-intercept. So what I want to think about is, well, what is this? You know, the question is saying, which of the following represents the real-life meaning of the positive x-intercept? Well, what does this mean, right? What does that x-intercept mean for this function? Well, first of all, what is an x-intercept? An x-intercept is a value of x when y is equal to 0. So what would it mean if y, which again, y is equal to h of x. So what would it mean if the height is 0? So the height is 0 when the projectile hits the ground, yeah? It's also zero, I guess, before you launch the projectile. Those are the only two times where the height of the projectile is zero. So let's look at the answer choices and see which one makes the most sense. So choice A says the initial height of the projectile. Um, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Initial height would be, you know, before launching, so that would be zero. So I'm not gonna cross that out for right now. B, the maximum height of the projectile. No, well, the maximum height would be here, and that's definitely not on the x-intercept. Choice C, the time at which the projectile reaches its maximum height. Well, uh, not, so x is time, but the time at which it reaches its maximum height is not true. Um, yeah, so, you know, the time it reaches the maximum height would be somewhere here to correspond with that height. So C is gone. Choice D, the time at which the projectile hits the ground. So yeah, I like that as well. Now, when I look at A and D, D is starting to look a lot better than A because it says the time, the time, right? And we know that X is representative of time, whereas A says the initial height. So the initial height is a Y value, right? That's the H of X. So the height is a Y value. So just based upon that wording, I'm going to say A is gone and D is the best answer.